beginning life back in Old House New Home with George Clark at 8. Right now, tonight's Channel 4 News with Kathy Newman in London and Kieran Jenkins in Leeds. attempts, self-harm and despair, we reveal the terrible mental health crisis inside the UK's largest asylum accommodation centre. Weathersfield Asylum Centre in Essex is not a prison, but according to some of the almost 600 men, it might as well be. They've told us they feel they've been left to languish, trapped and forgotten. Footage obtained of conditions inside includes video of a young man threatening to end his life by jumping from the top of a building. One of many suicide attempts that have seen ambulances called more than 50 times this year. The new government has suggested it will close Weathersfield down. But where would the hundreds of men inside go? And with smaller asylum hotels targeted in recent riots, where can those who sought a place of safety in Britain find sanctuary? And good evening from Leeds. As A-level, B-tech and T-level results were opened this morning, four in five students got their first choice of university. But could some institutions struggle to survive financial pressures? We speak to a government minister and a university leader. The first case of a contagious new strain of Mpox has been discovered outside Africa in Sweden. The variant has already spread within several African countries in an outbreak that's killed over 500 people. And we hear from four-time Oscar-nominated Saoirse Ronan on her latest role playing a recovering alcoholic on the Orkney Islands. It's a former RAF base deep in the Essex countryside, but it now accommodates hundreds of people who are seeking asylum in the UK. Many of them have told us that conditions at Weathersfield are intolerable, leading to regular suicide attempts and self-harm and allegations of abuse by staff. The Home Office and the private contractor Clear Springs Ready Homes told us the welfare of people housed there was of the utmost priority. Our community's editor, Darsh Nasoni, has been speaking to several men housed at the centre and has put together this report.